Hi guys, welcome once again. Um, I've got this NVIDIA GeForce 6000 series PCI Express graphics card, which I thought I would put in to the Ubuntu machine. Um, NVIDIA is particularly well supported under Ubuntu. Um, I'm going to be swapping out the graphics card in my main PC in a couple of weeks, I hope. But I do know that the Radeon X300 SE in there um, does not like Ubuntu at all. So I thought I'd stick one of these in. Not a particularly powerful card, but it'll be fine for what I needed to use it for. Passively cooled, um, because I like my machines to run quiet, as you know. The problem with this card is that it does run rather hot. And um, it's surprising, actually, because it's not a particularly powerful card. And even when it's doing nothing, really, other than just showing a, a 2D display, it does run rather hot. Your temp's kind of, you know, 60, 70 degrees when it's doing nothing. So I thought it might be good to perhaps see if we can get this to fit on it. I'm hoping it will. This is, um, this is an old Socket 7 heatsink and fan. And I like the fan on the top. I think that's a 40mm fan. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to take that off and put it on. It should just screw on. Uh, there's four screws on there, which on here just screw into the heatsink. So I'm hoping that they will do, just go uh, go straight onto the heatsink on there, just to try and run it a little bit cooler. Um, obviously, it might be too loud, in which case it may not work. But what I'll do is we will try it uh, and play with a few things and see if that works. Okay, well, we've managed to get the fan to fit <coughs> onto the heatsink. I've had to do it um, diagonally, and it, it's kind of at a weird angle, but I've had to do that so that it, will, it would fit within the, um, you know, the raised bits on the heatsink, which, which is how it obviously fitted, I can't see it, it's how it fitted on the original heatsink on there, it just, it just fitted between the fins. This, with it being a different type of fin, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a line through the fins both ways, see, there are lots of gaps. Um, but that does work, as you can see, and it's, it's pretty secure, so I think, I think that's going to work, actually, that could be interesting, and um, we should be able to get that on the motherboard header here, and obviously if it runs too loud, um, then we'll, we'll, we'll try it on 5 volts, though to be honest with you, a fan like that on 5 volts is probably going to be now the use in our ornament, so I think we we'll probably will have to run that on the full 12, so we'll get it plugged in, see what sort of noise it makes. And take it from there. Okay, guys, well, the graphics car's now in the case, and uh, that's blowing a fair bit of air. It seems to be sucking air away from the um, from the heatsink rather than blowing air onto it. You know, that might be a good way of doing it. Not too sure yet. It may make a difference. It may make things worse, of course. We just really do not know. Um, probably a red ought to get some temperature monitoring software on that. Um, I can touch it and hold it. That doesn't feel too hot, to be honest. Well, we'll, uh, well, we'll leave it like that. We'll, uh, we'll see how we get on with it. Um, a very quick and easy mod, I guess. If you've got a, a silent video card and you want to improve your cooling a bit, you can just try sticking a fan on it and see, uh, see what you do. And this is why uh, I tend not to throw fans away, no matter what size they are, because you never know when you might just need a fan of a certain size to go in a certain place. Um, there's other options, because if that doesn't work, we can, you can kind of put a fan mount on the side cover, or you can try and put a fan in the case blowing on it or just look at overall cooling on there um, but um, well pleased with that it was an interesting five minute mod and we'll just have to see how, uh, how that goes hi folks we're uh, back on the Ubuntu machine and what we're trying to do is just see how effective the fan is that I've installed on the graphics card now I've unplugged the fan and at the moment the core temperature is 70 degrees it was down at 65 degrees with the fan plugged in and working and slowly the temperature is creeping up it's now at 71 degrees it's not doing anything at the moment this computer other than just displaying what you can see in front of you so we're not working this graphics card at all temperature's now up to 72 degrees so it's quite clear that um, that that fan is making a difference. We're now up to 73 degrees. As I say, with the fan running, it was idling at around about 65. So already we've got an 8 degree difference after just a minute or two, really. So, as I say, this is a hot running card, now up to 74. 
for, for some reason, I don't know why, it's obviously a, a hot running chip. And um, I think, to be honest with you, as, I've, as I disconnected the fan, there was a slight decrease in the overall sound, but not much. There's not much in it. And we're up to 75 degrees, so we're now that's a 10 degree jump. So that little 40 millimeter fan on that card makes all the difference. So I think we can pretty much say that that's a very useful mod indeed. Okay, thanks for watching.